Uh, hey everyone, so my major interactive project, so Project Sailor, 2D side scrolling game. Uh, mission statement to create a unique and engaging experience behind the backdrop of a handcrafted dark fantasy world that players will stay invested in for years to come. Mark and intent the game's project scope is to be used for entertainment purposes with the intent to retain players' interest. Second purpose of the game is uh, to showcase my artistic vision. Uh, project specifics, so story, following dark fantasy world set to an original story in Scandinavian folklore, uh, Norse mythology, and this main source of influence, a game that represents a prologue to a larger graphic novel. Music and sound effects, create a moody atmosphere, using ambiance to its advantage, uh, background tracks will be comprised of acoustic guitars, low rumbling drums, howling winds, and distorted vocals. Artistic style, the majority of the game will be hand-drawn assets, including the background, foreground, levels, uh, title screen, and character models. Uh, taking inspiration from Scandinavian art uh, for design elements, as well as similar games such as Sundered, Jotun, and Manor Saga. Uh, game elements, following a 2D side-scrolling approach, taking cues from games in the Metroidvania adventure games, uh, featuring multiple paths, hidden areas, challenging combat, boss fights, platforming, collectibles, and replay incentives. Age range, uh, for 15 to 30, audience character, uh, carrying high expectations of the game, being from an action vendor genre, can invoke nostalgia, most players will have a knowledge of the style. Expectations, needs an intriguing story, satisfying combat, precise controls, platforming, interesting character and world designs. Uh, message and values, so number one, quality of interactive experience, number two, brand awareness, and number three, artistic value. Action, uh, after player playing the game, users should have a sense of satisfaction in the product, is worth their time, appreciation for the work, uh, new gain interest to support future works. Users should be able to uh, follow my projects through social media and give feedback. Uh, resources, so production, game is solo project, all assets are done by myself. Software, I will be using Photoshop for set design, animate for character animations, audition for music and sound effects, and Godot, a nice little indie engine for the game itself. Uh, resources part two, so hardware, uh, HP laptop for asset production and coding, uh, Canvas Pro 16 graphic, for graphic design and art production, uh, Zoom H1N recorder for music and sound effects. Uh, deliverables, the game's proof of concept will be implemented into Godot for users to test and play. This is, this is how the final product will be accessible. The gameplay video will be recorded to advertise the final deliverables. Design considerations. Uh, okay, so nostalgic, uh, being 2D side scrolls, the game will have a nostalgic tone throughout, taking inspiration from games from previous generations. Dark and moody atmosphere to set the tone, overwhelmingly dark and bleak. And Scandinavian folklore, Norse mythology for uh, in depth narrative and visual style. So, uh, project timeline. So, planning is pretty much done. Pre production uh, is kind of mixed in with the production right now. So just finishing off story, co-choice, music, controls, milestone scheduling, uh, into character design, level design. Uh, starting sound design pretty soon, uh, followed by animation and coding, and then bundling it all together, eventually uh, polishing, bug fixing, and then launch week in second to third week of December. So gameplay inspiration, of course, uh, gonna have Metroid as number one choice followed by Castlevania, and the newer game that I played more recently, Blasphemous, if anyone's played it. It's a great game, gave me a lot of inspiration for doing this game. Um, followed by Art Inspiration, um, Banner Zog, number one, beautiful looking game. Um, as you can see, it has a very, very unique look to itself. And then um, Jotun, which is the other one. Um, so this end Sundered are made by the same company, so they both share a very similar look. Um, but all hand drawn assets and everything, very, very good. Very uh, smooth in, in animation. So, 14 difficulties. Uh, timing, uh, keeping must keep the schedule and everything. Uh, all assets and design will have to start to end dates. Um, too much content, too many items and mechanics to produce uh, might be unmanageable, so review content needed to make decisions where applicable. And coding issues. After applying assets in Godot, there may be issues getting the work properly, so keep it simple, main assets working first, and if that works, then add more content along the way, as long as they have time. Alright everyone, thanks for listening, and see you later.